the question, the big question is, is celery juice a magic elixir? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We got a different one for you, obviously. We got some nature going on in the background. But uh, I did some celery juicing. And we're gonna talk about that. So why did I decide to get into celery juicing? Well, I'm trying to show you guys how to live your best life and one of the pillars of living your best life is maintaining a healthy lifestyle so you have energy to do things and tackle goals to get to your dreams. And so juicing celery was apparently this magic elixir that had all these benefits, so I figured, why not? I'll give it a try. Now to preface this video, as some of you may know, I'm already a pretty healthy individual. So I'm not someone who consumes a lot of junk, and so I try to take care of my health, including my gut health. So I'm going into this very healthy, and this is gonna be a no BS guide to doing the celery juicing challenge. And honestly, I felt like seven days how do you experience or see any results in just seven days? So I decided to do it over a 10 day span and I'll be giving you guys all that I went through and experienced with celery juicing. Hello, is Andrew. Hey, how are you? Darn. Okay. All right. Yeah, probably won't be back. It's all right. That's all right. I appreciate you trying. <laughs> all right. You too. Thanks. Bye. All right, so I just got a call about my gym membership. I signed up for a month and I can't cancel it apparently. And so I gotta pay 60 more dollars because I'm uh, moving. That's another video though. So how do you do this juicing cleanse or juicing challenge? So you have to do, from what I read and studied, you have to do it within waking up on a fasted stomach and then once you do consume the celery juice, you have to not eat still for another 30 minutes. And that's in order to reap the most benefits from doing the celery juicing. So the juicing or the celery can make it through your body and do all that it needs to do to get those benefits, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how you do it. finished product okay so you got 15 ounces right there just above it this was actually two sticks or whatever you measure them in of celery and it came out to about 16 so we're actually good finished product this glass was just big enough. Let me set this down so I don't spill it. Just big enough. I guess I need a bigger glass. But that's 16 ounces. 
Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing my hair growth. I got a hair transplant in Turkey, so it's in the shedding phase and it's looking a little rough right now, but in about a month and a half, I should see a noticeable difference. And a quick interruption of your programming. I just had to highlight this comment right here, which I actually grabbed it from another YouTuber. Her name is Laura Try, so go check her out. She did a celery juicing video, but it was hilarious. And it's one of the supposed things that could happen when drinking celery juice. Also, for this video, I'm not gonna be showing you every day of the 10 days of me drinking celery juice, because I think that'd be pretty boring. It would essentially be me just drinking celery juice over and over. I'd rather just get to whether this works or not. So back to the video. I don't know how people eat this shit. I hear if you down it really fast, you get some extra benefits. So let's do this. So in all the videos online, I've seen people cleaning bugs or snails off their organic celery and I was wondering if I myself would come across one of these creatures. And lo and behold, I actually found something here. I'm not sure what kind of bug this is, but you could see it has the antennas. I don't know, it looks like a snail of some sort but I gotta clean this piece right here extra good cause that is just nasty. All right guys, so I do not claim to be a doctor. This is not medical advice. Obviously you should be careful getting medical advice off of YouTube, always consult with a doctor, but I have some pre-prepared notes about the benefits of celery juicing. Now, I am a big advocate for getting your nutrients through food itself, just from doing the physique competing and being worried and or concerned and in tune with my health over years, I do know that going through your food source to get your nutrients is the way to go because if you're trying to get it all through supplementation while eating unhealthy, it's not gonna work. Because when you take a supplement, you have to keep in mind that when those supplements are manufactured, going through that process, a lot of the nutrients is diluted. So, I do believe it's great to get your nutrients from things like juicing celery. So let's get into the first benefit, which is reducing inflammation. So this is due to vitamin C and it reduces oxidative stress in the body. Now I'm not gonna get deep into these, but the next benefit would be improving digestion. So as you saw from the one clip, it makes you go to the bathroom. <laughs> So you'll find that um, and apparently I was looking up online if you have bad gut health you're gonna really experience that uh, going to the bathroom effect but I gotta say from being very strict on my diet I really haven't seen like oh my god I gotta go to the bathroom like most people because I feel like I already have my gut health in check I went into this pretty healthy so this isn't, you know, coming from someone who went into it who eats sugar or has bad eating habits and so on. So this is coming from someone who's pretty dang healthy. The next benefit would be a great source of vitamins and minerals. Like I was saying, it's the best way to get your nutrients is from actual food and consuming actual food, not supplementation because it dilutes the nutrients going through the manufacturing process. The next couple of benefits are that it heal, it helps deal with high blood pressure. So apparently it brings your blood pressure down. I'm not gonna go real deep into that, but I can see that making sense. Um, and apparently there's some evidence of that online, but some of the other benefits include clear skin and stimulating hair growth. Now, clear skin, that's debatable. I, I don't know how much can be done in just 10 days, but maybe over a year or some longer period of time. And then for hair growth, that's awesome because as some of you may know, I'm actually trying to regrow my hair. I just got a hair transplant. So 
If you want to see me go from bald to having some hair, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, so now that the 10 days of juicing celery is over, what kind of benefits did I experience? So let's go through it pretty quickly. I would say the first thing I felt was more stable energy throughout the day. And I feel like that's because of the hydration factor, which I really didn't touch on on the benefits, but they say and there's some talk out there that consuming watermelons, other fruits and whatnot to get your water intake and hydrate is actually a very healthy way of doing it because it's one of the most filtered, cleanest ways of getting water and thus hydrating, which I feel is why I could have been feeling more stable energy throughout the day. So I do drink a half a cup of coffee every day and when I was doing the celery juicing, I really wasn't feeling a crash later on. So I would say it was more stable throughout the day. Now, as far as clear skin, that, like I said, it, it's debatable from this clip right here. I'm seeing these little hairs come in, but also I'm seeing this pimple come in. So I really didn't get clear skin, but I would say the biggest thing for me within the 10 days was the more stable energy. All right, so we're back in the studio, got the green for the celery juicing theme but also change my clothes because I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the last scenes, I was walking back and forth filming them. I got pretty sweaty, so I had to take a shower. Anyways, to wrap up this video, I wanted to talk about the excuses that I found online for why I stopped celery juicing and all these dramatic <laughs> excuses. And one of them was being, it takes too much time. The other being, it takes too much space up in my refrigerator. Well, Let's touch base on those things. So does it really take much space up in your refrigerator? I mean, not really, but if you have a really small refrigerator, nothing against you, but I don't think so. And then as far as it taking too much time, it really depends on your lifestyle. So it did take me about 10 to 15 minutes from start to finish with everything um, in the beginning. But you can also, instead of doing two bundles, packages, whatever you call them, as far as measurements for celery, you can do one instead of doing two. So you don't have to do the full 16 ounces, which is what they recommend, but it's not like you're gonna get no nutrients or hydration just because you're doing less. And it will result in you getting some hydration nutrients and also saving a little bit of time and cleanup. And so that's what I have chosen to do along with minimizing how many times a week I do the celery juicing because it, it really comes down to your health and what you want to do for your health. So I decided instead of canceling it completely, I'm going to do it one or two times a week because it does take time and time is money, <laughs> but I'm always on the go. And so when I'm at a downtime or I know I'm not going to be doing something that day, I go and juice some celery and I do that once or twice a week. And that will ultimately allow you to add it into your lifestyle to gain that hydration nutrients. It's better than something versus nothing. And now the question, the big question is, is celery juice a magic elixir? No, it's not. It's just another way of getting hydration and nutrients. And I do feel it's a solid addition to complement an already healthy lifestyle. So you can't just drink celery juice and think, oh my God, I'm going to get clear skin. I'm going to grow my hair back and it, everything's going to be amazing. No, it's not like that. We're living in reality here. So, I mean, it's definitely a little bit of work and prep, but it comes down to your choice, lifestyle and what you want to do for your health but that's it for today's video guys if you have tried the celery juicing challenge or cleanse or whatever they're calling it these days yourself and you saw good results i want to hear about it i want to hear down below in the comments so make sure you comment we can start a conversation about it and if you like this video make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe i do post self-development content this video is a little different from the usual content but again i hope you guys liked it and besides that thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day you gotta just go for it don't think about what comes after or what came before